got fire trucks and ambulance and police at my shop. Nothing serious though, nothing serious. Uh, accident right by the shop and they all decided to pull into my parking lot. Exciting going on in Vicky's world. Cute. A gun. Cute little thing. Lighter. Not very exciting, I know. And how much is that going for? Not a whole lot. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Because that's what I see they sold for. How much we paid for it? I don't know. What do you mean we don't know? I don't know. Because it's been sitting here a while. Nice. Sorry. That's how we run the business mm -hmm. here. We have no idea what we pay and how Maybe much Adrian we make. Is. Adrian gave it to me. He, he didn't give me a note. So. Well, if Adrian bought it, he probably didn't pay more than five dollars. What do you want? What do you want? Come here. Why? Because I had a question for you. Which, which boxes do we need? Huh? Which boxes do we need? We need original A. But the regular ones? No. Well, you can order one too because we got only two packs left. But these, we need the long ones, original A. We need the square, original B. And we need padded envelopes. Yeah, you got that. And then we needed, we needed something else. I know what we need. We need square medium. We are on the last box of mediums. Title of the video says, don't worry about the slow sales. This is my strategy. That's why I don't worry about slow sales because I sell the right stuff. And when I say the right stuff, I'm willing to pay up for a stuff, stuff that it's gonna sell quickly. A lot of times within a day or two, uh, sometimes it might take a week, but it sells overall quickly. Let me explain. So it's Wednesday morning, I'm packing stuff, uh, quite a few orders this morning. I picked out three items here that I'm packing today that I want to show you guys uh, that sold. This sold within three days, two days, one day. Um, items that we paid up for, but they sold almost instantly. So uh this michael kors bag in very good condition we paid 35 dollars for it sold for 99 bucks uh within three days this is a yamaha saxophone that sold within two days paid 250 dollars for it sold for uh 500 bucks in very nice condition this is kind of starter uh saxophone for a student and then finally we got a Hilti, although the box says GX3, actually the unit inside is um, GX120 I believe, which is a gun that you shoot nails into the concrete. Um, this unit I paid $80 for, sold for $199. Um, this is what I mean about not having slow sales willing to pay up a little bit for the merchandise that you know it's gonna sell quickly constantly most of the time with no issues because it's actually higher priced stuff uh, i know we all love buying and finding that stuff for two dollars three dollars five dollars and flipping for 50 80 100 but it's very far and few between finding items like that um if you want to be if you want to be like consistent I, and i understand you got to spend a little bit of money in this kind of game but almost i can guarantee you that you're going to be working a lot less and you're going to be making a lot more and i'm not saying guys that you know picking up stuff for cheap and flipping relatively cheap it's a bad model um 
but you're going to realize that it takes a lot and a lot, and I mean a lot of work, um, flipping stuff, buying for a couple bucks and flipping for $10, $12. It takes a lot of manpower to actually make any kind of money, like real money. Um, you know, flipping stuff. Would you rather, I'm sorry, would you rather sell one or two items like this and make a couple hundred dollars a day or would you rather flip 20 or 30 items making, you know, five, six, seven dollars a day? Uh, I mean, per item. Lots of work, right? Finding that stuff. Finding that 20 items to make a few dollars, packing that 20 items, taking pictures, writing descriptions, posting, then packing, shipping, I mean, it's all work. And if you are one or two person uh, a game, a business game, it just doesn't work. Um, to do extremely big volume to make money in that model, you have to have a lot of people working for you, really to turn a profit. So I believe, strongly believe, that a, a one person game, this is the smart way to go finding two or three items a day that you got to pay up for it uh, but you can potentially make a hundred to hundred fifty dollars per item yes i understand does require a little bit of capital but play the smaller game first raise some capital so you got some money and then start playing this game plus the items will sell a lot quicker for you there'll be no slow times because you're really going to be cherry picking and you're really going to be buying items that sell not that, oh, I got something for a dollar, I can flip it for 16 and it's going to sit on a shelf for seven months before it sails. Just think about it. What are you doing, crazy bird? Crazy bird. Say hello. Say hello to everyone. Hello. Say hello. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go. Don't go. Yeah, right here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't in your hair. Ruby, you got something in your hair. Yeah, got it. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Yeah. I know. It's what? 3 30? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go work on a boat a little bit before I go home. What are you gonna do? I gotta install a few things. So, so you guys know I've been shopping for a boat, and I finally got myself a boat a few days ago. Went all the way to Upper Michigan to get one. This is my 3G right here, 17 and a half foot uh, fishing boat with everything I uh, I wanted on it. It's got a great GPS, uh, iPilot, Minn Kota trolling motor, anchor, um, comes with a 50 horse uh, Yamaha, white beam, 81 inches beam. So uh, yeah, it's a G3 boat, galvanized trailer. And it comes even with the roof, which I probably will take off. Uh, but yeah. Super excited, getting ready, going uh, going fishing this weekend, going to Upper Minnesota. Gonna go uh, go fishing on a Cass Lake for about a week. So getting everything ready now. Super excited. So Ryan, whatever you're sending me to, am I gonna make any money there? It really depends on what's there still. Now. Do we have an address? Do I know where I'm going? Is the address it's on that post? It's in, uh, in the picture I sent okay. you. So let's punch it in. So Ryan found a post today on a Facebook marketplace today morning that this place is closing down and they're selling everything they got in there. It's supposed to be, I don't know how big is the warehouse. Big, right? It's a big place? Yeah, I don't know how big it is. I didn't see it. And they're supposed to be 70% uh, off of Amazon prices, I guess. That's what they said. So we'll see. We'll see if we can do any damage. I hope you're right, Ryan, because it's an hour away. I think I made it to my spot. This is the building that the sale is going on. I don't see many cars. I hope I'm in the right place. Let's go check it out. 
so what we are seeing here is a bunch of liquidation pallets that they basically uh, unloading stuff that they can't move it anymore either on Amazon or on eBay and they're just unloading to uh, put a general public behind those tables over there you could see they have stations set up like a photo station there and a bunch of computers that's how they list on eBay or Amazon whatever they can sell they unload to general public here that's what it is I don't see any money here though So uh, I spent about half an hour there scanning different stuff and uh, at least I didn't walk out completely empty. Um, got three, uh, three units, three boxes of these sprayers, the landscaping sprayers. Um, they ring out on Amazon for like 30 bucks. I gave him 20 bucks for all of them. He wanted nine a piece. I said, dude, that's all I can do. So I paid like $7 a piece. I, hopefully I can get like $20 a piece at the shop. The boxes are ban banged up, but the units are okay. So at least I can get my guest money back. Otherwise, uh, there was no money there to be made. I mean, for general public, yeah, it's fine. You know, 70% of Amazon, um, but to flip and resell, not too much. Plus it was all crappy stuff, stuff that it's cheap, you know, low volume, so, I mean, uh, retail value on it is, is just not worth it. Just pulled in uh, to this marina here. It's a little town called Wakanda, Illinois. This is a Banks Lake. I'm coming here tomorrow, I came to check it out, how much they charge at this lunch to launch my boat, because I want to make sure before I head out to Minnesota on Saturday that everything is top-notch and everything works good so looks like the lunch is very nice they charge 25 bucks to launch the boat here uh, lots of boats already on the water it's 82 degrees beautiful day summer is definitely here and it's uh, they have a very cool uh, they got a very cool like a tiki bar up there People can uh, have a drink and look at the lake. Uh, cool place. Cool place. Haven't been here in a while, so I'll be launching the boat tomorrow. It's supposed to be 85 tomorrow. Almost end of the day, guys. It's about 6:35, so I'm about to close down the doors here in the shop. But uh, I wanna, I wanna talk about a little bit because I don't want you guys to get. Um, like a bad impression that earlier in the video when I was telling like you got to drop everything and you got to start buying more expensive stuff to flip that's not my point my point is that slowly maybe incorporate into your business a strategy from moving away from from the cheaper stuff to a little bit more expensive it could be a slow transition you don't have to go like all in um, and great example great example of that is if you guys watch and if you don't i i highly suggest that you you should uh, for me he's the most entertaining guy and with the most knowledge about reselling at the moment on youtube period uh his name is lani uh the channel name is garage flips i'll put the link below in the description uh, Lani is going through this whole evolution for the last couple years that he's been putting out videos on YouTube that he actually goes step by step what he's been buying what it's been working what's not been working for him how he changes from buying cheap stuff to more expensive stuff and he explains and realizes what does it take uh, and the whole process of doing it uh, I think he's a top-notch guy tells you how it is 
if you want to learn that transition and if you want to like learn things from the start to the end he's the guy to watch uh, he makes it fun but he doesn't BS he tells you like it is so I, I really enjoy watching him Lani this is a shout out for you uh, everybody if you don't subscribe to Lani go and subscribe right now I know he he does have like 5,000 subs um, but he could use some more the content that he puts down is like real like hundred percent real no BS he tells you his numbers he tells you what he buys what he sells what he will not buy again what kind of screwed ups he would do um, love it and that's what I'm talking about exactly today about that little change and the transition and I can see he's going that transition over the years understanding and learning the process um, anyway thank you guys for watching I appreciate it this is it for me going on vacation a couple days gonna do some fishing I'm sh I think I'm gonna do a little bit of vlogging uh, fishing so those of you who are into fishing uh, and stuff like that outdoors uh, next vlog might be interesting thank you for watching till next time cheers